Let's reset this, go up one level, and again, create a box, dive in there. Again, scale this up to be one by one by four units and move it up a bit so it sits on the ground plane. And in this case, I'd like to use the RBD material fracture to kind of build my own fracturing. So instead of this Voronoi-ish fracturing, which is the default concrete setup or the glass or the wood setups, I want to maybe use a bunch of spheres to cut up this geometry. So let's create a bunch of spheres by just copying them into this volume basically. And in order for that, we just have to create a volume using an ISO offset. I'm gonna set the volume sampling resolution to 100 voxels, then gonna wire up a scatter after this ISO offset with maybe 25 points, scattering a few points in here, then using an attrib randomize to randomize our p-scale attribute, which will be the scale of the spheres that we're gonna copy on those points. So call this one p-scale here, point attribute. It's just a single float, so that's a one-dimensional number, not a vector, with a minimum value of 0.5 and say a maximum value of two. So our scale of the spheres will value between 0.5 and two. Next, I'm gonna create a sphere. Again, set this to be a polygon with a frequency of eight. And let's dial back its overall uniform scale to 0.5. And finally, wire in the sphere and the attrib randomize into a copy to points. Sphere goes in the first slot, atrib randomize in the second, resulting in this here. Good, so far, we're gonna wire this into the last slot of RBD material fracture, as this is going to be our cutting geometry, which we'll use to cut up the whole box here. So let's highlight the material fracture, and you can see it's still set up to behave like this concrete. So let's fix that by setting material type to custom and setting our guide geometry to cutter geometry. Let's disable scatter cutting geometry and instead check use input cutting geo. And now we can see we are getting those neat cuts that are spherical. One thing I need to set up for our simulation to work is constraints. And yeah, again, let's dial them back a bit to say 200. And finally wire this up into an RBD solver. Again, shift enter to automatically wire up those three inputs here. On the bullet solver, let's enable the ground plane. Save this and just keep our fingers crossed and hit play. And you can see our Swiss cheese pillar tumbling over here and breaking. So that's how you set up individual cutting geometry in your RBD material fracture for a bit more of an art directable look over the standard material presets.